I am Dyron Castro Torres, and today we will be covering the genealogy of Neil deGrasse Tyson, world famous astrophysicist, uh, Harvard graduate, distinguished person. Did you know he was half Puerto Rican? Let's get right into it. Born in New York City in 1958. He was raised in Manhattan. His father, African-American Cyril deGrasse Tyson, and his mother, Sanchita Maria Tyson, made a name Feliciano. How I discovered she was Puerto Rican was from this interview that I will be showing under fair use But um, I am a first generation mainland born Puerto Rican. My parents are born in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and my siblings and my parents are all deceased now, but they were all born in Arecibo, where the t radio telescope is, by the way. The radio telescope. And you have visited that. So you far. took me to visit it. That's right. Yeah. You were just a kid at that time, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. It had no significance to me at all. Oh. You okay. know, so, but I know it meant something to you. Mm -hmm. So you're. Uh, you, you've told me, I don't remember the details, both of your parents were dead. Yeah. By the time you were what age? Four. Four. So you have no memory of either of them? No, I don't. And so I was brought up by two aunts, and uh, they too were born in other mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't speak English very well until I went to public school. And then I had a hell of a time. Okay. So she said her parents were dead by the time she was four, and she was raised by two Puerto Rican aunts. So that's what I had to go off when I started looking into it. So let's start with 1950. I was able to track her down in Manhattan in the 1950 U.S. Census. Sanchita Feliciano, right here. And she is the niece, right? See it right here. Randolph the Knight is the head of household, and he's married to Antipas, and Serafina Perez is his sister-in-law. So these two are sisters, Antipas and Serafina Perez, and you can see they were from Puerto Rico, both of them. So these are actually going to end up being her great aunts. These are her mother's aunts, but her mother passed away, and she lived with them and you can see right here they're all considered Negro another thing that she said is that her both her parents were dead by the time she was four and that's true in her mother's case but her father was still alive but it seems he left the family that's 1950 let's go to 1940 Still in New York City, uh, still living with her two aunts, Serafina Perez and Antipas Perez, wife of Randolph the Knight, who is from Barbados. And this is our girl right here, Sanchita Feliciano, the niece, 11 years old. And uh, this is interesting. Marianne Abr Abramson, she's from St. Thomas, which is, uh, this family also has some roots from St. Thomas too. They were from Puerto Rico, but they have a grandmother that was uh, from St. Thomas. We'll get into that in a minute. So let's go to 1930 when young Sanchita was living with her parents at this time. She is one years old. Her parents are still alive. Juanita and Pedro Cabrera. I said this in an earlier video, but I'll say it again. A lot of times when the Puerto Ricans came to New York or the United States, 
they took their second last name, which is their maternal last name. So he's really Pedro Feliciano y Cabrera, but on the census he wrote just Cabrera. And you can see right here, Amparo Olmo is his sister-in-law. So Juan, uh, Juanita is really Juanita Olmo. So she's Olmo y Perez, and her aunts are the two that she, uh, uh, Sanchito was living with later on, her beloved aunts, as she calls them. So this is 1917. San Juan, Puerto Rico. And this is the marriage of her parents. Pedro Feliciano and Juana Olmo. And he's from Bayamón. She said that, that they were both from Arecibo, but that's incorrect. At least her mother was from Arecibo. So Pedro Feliciano is the legitimate son of Raymond Feliciano and Asuncion Cabrera. And her mother, Juana Olmo, is the legitimate daughter of Ramon Olmo and Maria Perez, and they're from Arecibo. And you can see right here that Juana was too young to be married, and she had to get somebody to uh, give her permission to be married. is 1910 and you see Pedro Feliciano Cabrera living in the house of his mother and her, his father's already passed away Asuncion Cabrera widow of Feliciano and you can see over here they're considered mulatos which is half Spanish half black He uh, came to the United States in 1925, Pedro Feliciano. This is his birthday, 1894, and he's coming to Manhattan. And uh, Sanchita said that her parents were dead. Oops, sorry that her parents were dead by the time she was four. But you can see Pedro Feliciano remarried in Manhattan in 1941 in New York. He's a mechanic. Uh, this is his parents, Ramon Feliciano, Asuncion uh, Feliciano. She's really Cabrera. And he's marrying Carmen Enriquez. And he dies in Puerto Rico, so that makes me think that he uh, left his family because she didn't know about him. He died in Carolina in 1946, Pedro Feliciano Cabrera. Son of Ramon Feliciano from Vega Alta and Asuncion Cabrera from San Juan. Let's uh, go into his parents. This is their wedding. So these are the great grandparents of Neil deGrasse Tyson. In 1892, getting married in San Juan, Ramon Feliciano y Quintero and Asuncion Cabrera. See down here, Ramon Feliciano is the son of Antonio Feliciano and Maria de Jesus Quintero and Asuncion Cabrera is the daughter of Concepcion Cabrera. This is 1905, the death record of Ramon Feliciano Quintero. And he's in San Juan. He dies in San Juan. A 
Ramon Feliciano and his parents down here, Antonio and Maria. Um, Antonio Feliciano and Maria Quintero. This is the death record of his wife. She dies in 1949 in San Juan. Asuncion Cabrera, uh, the widow of Ramon Feliciano, considered blanco or white. She is illegitimate. She doesn't know her father. And Concepcion Cabrera. And she's from Naguabo. Now on the, the mother's line, on Juana Olmo, this is the uh, grandmother of Neil deGrasse Tyson, the maternal grandmother. This is 1910, and this is his uh, his grandmother, Juana Olmo y Perez, and she's living in the house of her grandmother, Mariana Abraham de Perez. When you see de Perez or de, this means her husband is named uh, Perez. And these are the chil her children. And these are the two aunts that Sanchita lived with as a child. These are actually her great aunts. De Perez, Serafina, and Antipas Perez, the Abraham. And you can see, like I said before, uh, Mariana, she, her parents were from St. Thomas, both of them. She was born in Puerto Rico. But her parents were both Santomanian. And they're considered mulatos. This is the marriage of her parents. They're getting married in 1900 in Arecibo. Ramon Olmo, Maria Perez, Abraham, or Abraham. And Ramon is an illegitimate child of Juana Olmo, born in Arecibo. And Maria Perez, Abraham, is the recognized child. So this means that her parents weren't married, but the father uh, accepted her as her child as his child. And her father is Don Hilario Perez, and the mother is Doña Margarita Abraham, or Abraham. And finally, this is the death record of Juana Olmo. She dies in 1904 in Arecibo. They don't know her second last name, but you can see she's Mestiza, which means she's uh, got some Indian blood in her. The illegitimate child of Francesca Olmo, and she was born in Arecibo. There it is. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the most famous astrophysicist is one of ours. This is his family tree, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the son of Cyril deGrasse Tyson and Sanchita Feliciano, who in turn is the daughter of Pedro Feliciano Cabrera and Juana Olmo Perez. Uh, Pedro is the son of Ramon Feliciano, Asuncion Cabrera. Ramon is the son of Antonio Feliciano and Maria de Jesus Quintero. Asuncion is the daughter of Concepcion Cabrera. Down here, Juana Olmo Perez is the daughter of Ramon Olmo and Maria Perez. Ramon is the son of Juana Olmo, who is the daughter of Francesca Olmo. And Maria is the daughter of 
Hilario Perez and Mariana Abraham that's from San Tomas and these are the great aunts that raised our son Chida and they lived with she lived with them in New York where on the in the household of Randolph the Ninth. Hope you enjoyed the show. Like, follow, and subscribe. Palante.